You'll never guess where I am. I'm lying on a white sand beach. <sighs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm in the garden again. And I'm doing this. I've decimated my rhubarb. Um, it, it had gone completely mad. And I don't think any of us need as much rhubarb as I had. I, you know, I can't give it away these days. So, um, I've just uh, dug it out, chopped it over. In a couple of weeks, this is all going to look green and flourishing and lovely. But at the moment, it's looking pretty sad for itself. <sighs> Talking about sad for itself. Look at this. This is that noise you can hear is Margot. She can see me. She can literally see me. I am really not far away from her. But she's just crying pitifully. Well, she's shut up now because she knows I'm talking about her. arrived and I'm really quite surprised because I ordered it on Amazon and pretty much it said that it wasn't going to be dispatched for something like two months and I thought well that's fine um, it was the last one available I think and um, I thought well that's fine I'll have it for next year I'll order it now and it will come when we're probably out of lockdown it's arrived today. So I'm thrilled about that. One one of the lovely ladies that comments said about this book, and um, there are all sorts of companion planting books around, but I just like the title. It's not a really good way of judging books, but hey ho. So uh, I'm going to sit down and have a little read of this now. Hopefully it will be an easy read. It actually looks quite heavy, but <clears throat> maybe that's exactly what we need right now. It looks like everything's in alphabetical order. Pigweed? I wonder what that is. This is smelling amazing. This is a fruit infusion from my zero waste shop that I go to. It's sunny, but it's not too hot, so I can wear my COVID cardi. It's looking really pretty, that little area over there. Margot has got in a huff with me because I have no lap available. <laughs> <laughs> so she's pretty mad to come to me. So Ted called her over there and normally she won't go and she won't stay. She's too hot to be out in the sun anyway. I don't know why she's out there. Nor do I. She's so scruffy. Why is it every time I go to film, cars go by, and we're only getting about 10 an hour? They all seem to come by every time I film. Yeah. This is such a good book. Did you know? that if you put apples and carrots near each other, the carrots will take on a bitter flavour. I did not know that. And what else is yeah. This is difficult. Oh. Okay. She's boiling hot. Cabbages, they like to be near potatoes, but they do not like strawberries. They do not like tomatoes and they don't like pole beans. I'm assuming pole beans are runner beans. One problem I've got with this book is it turns out it is American. So it's talking a lot about things, pests that I have absolutely 
no experience of, such as raccoons. Yeah, it says here, cucumbers are offensive to raccoons. So they're a good plant to put with corn. I will remember that if I see any stray raccoons about the place. Oh, and this is good. Onions repel rabbits. So they're good planted in with your lettuce. Radishes grown with lettuce in the summer are particularly succulent. There's a lot to remember here. I think I need to write down what I've... I have to change my whole planting schematic. I have to write down what I've got and what I need to plant with it. I can't see you, Will. Call back. I'm oh. still a bit tired. You all look like you need to wear sunglasses, even bunnies squinting. <laughs> Put my ray on her, she'll just be like... <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were getting up, Wilf. I am, but I can't. <laughs> oh, you're stuck. There you go. I can. It's okay, bunny. Bunny! Uh-oh. <laughs> bunny, come here. Bunny! Oh. Come on. <laughs> you look hilarious. <laughs> this thing is... Ow, Look at these two. Look at these. Look. Ow! Oh, no snorting. No, Aren't gardens funny things? This was a plant that I had in a border about seven years ago up there all the way around there so quite a long way from here probably 150 meters away and it's been it's vanished from my garden for years look i didn't notice it here because it's only just opened up i came to look for my bee fly he's always around here usually but he's not here today Look, the wisteria's coming. And look how many buds. Oh, look. All these buds. Unbelievable. Look. Oh, it's just beautiful. Oh, the smell of it. Amazing. Amazing. I read somewhere that wisterias in somewhere like, I can't remember what country, might be Japan, they're considered invasive weeds. Well, this can invade as much as it likes. In fact, it did try to get into the ensuite once. I knew you would come. I knew it. I've scared him off. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, look at these. Fun fact for you here now. You probably all know this already. If you look at this here. So you've got some bright yellow, the centres, and some are pale, 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 gone almost white. That indicates that they're empty, the white ones, the yellow ones, are full. So it stops the insects from um, wasting their time on an empty flower. Nature is so clever. I am making Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I'm going to fall over. It's taken me all night. <laughs> I'm about to make, this is a recipe my friend Ali sent me. Um, pop stickers. So Why don't you lift up the goyosas, Because I'm going to just... Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so I need 280 of plain flour. Look at the pot I got it in. The boys got really excited, thought that I had marshmallow brownie bombs. Yeah, so did I. And then they opened it, did you? <laughs> and they opened it. And they were like, what is this? And 
I said it's um evil. It's plain flour, darling boys, for cooking with. Uh, we have run out of so many foodstuffs, mostly things, you know, children's snacks. And actually, they're, they're cooking quite well. They've eaten more apples today than they have in their life. I think Ted's had four. <laughs> Is he? He's had quite a few, yeah. Right, now I need to add 180, no, 175 of just off the boil boiling water. 175 mils of just boiled water. This doesn't seem right. Okay. Then it says you need to, oh my ladies. You need to mix it and then knead it until it is no longer sticky. Oh Lord. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. I've dispatched Toby to um, get the washing in. So while I mix this, I'll uh, show you him. Oh, pants. With cooking Chinese, you need a lot of ingredients. Okay, so for all the Toby fans out there, of which there are a fair few, it's gone totally to Toby's head that he has oh, he spotted us. Toby fans. So I'm going to pretend that I'm just sort of talking to myself and like this. Try and put him off the scent. Doesn't he look lovely with the um, fancy pants peg bag? <laughs> I love how he's embraced it and he's got it hanging over. Actually, I think he's got it just hanging around his neck. <laughs> I don't think he's got it across the body. No, he I don't think he has, has he? No, he's got it just hanging around his neck. Oh, it's so funny. Look at him. It's like a sporran. Oh no, he's coming in. He's going to rumble me. He's going to rumble me. Why didn't you try and catch me? Huh? Why didn't you try and catch me in my clothes? This is not going well, is it? That'd be lovely. I hope so. It's taking forever. I'm bored of it now. Oh, look, it's actually coming together. It's quite pleasant. This is a sort of nice thing to do on a cold winter's day. So you have to knead it until it no longer feels sticky. But it feels smooth. I think I've made enough here to feed the 5,000. 